like that, you know, that's because of the media black uh, 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 blackouts, you know. Like they, uh, they're not gonna be talking about the uh, the pestilence that's happening on this part of the earth, you know. But see, you know, uh, that's that's when it's gonna hit you, man. That's that's how you're gonna get caught up in there, cause you ain't gonna be prepared, man. You ain't gonna be ready for those scorches. Because that's why when the scripture says, yep. uh, uh, when they say peace and safety, then thou shalt trust. Hey, that's the scripture. Hey, that's the spirit. I was gonna pull that up, but brother, you grab that first Thessalonians five and uh. Start and shoot the top. May I, uh, I got a little bit more. Hold on. He says, uh, Saki, for many of them, uh, for many of them that dwell upon upon earth shall perish of, 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 of famine, and the other that that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So basically, you 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 might escape being hungry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or you might escape uh, of the sword. Either way, you're gonna get destroyed, man. You gonna get destroyed, man. Because you ain't you ain't up under the covering of the Heavenly Father, man. Go ahead, brother. Uh uh, if you got that best first Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. Chapter 5. Verse 1. Let's start at 1. And just read on down. It could go like a 3 or might go a little bit further than that. Go ahead, brother. You can pull, you can pull what you got while he's looking for This is uh, Jeremiah, chapter 15. I'm going to start at the top. Uh, point is at uh, verse 2. Then said Yahweh unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. See, that was the point that he was uh, making, man. Hey, you, you, hey, the most high tried to deal with you people. But, hey, no matter how much you tried to deal with you, it just couldn't happen, man. Right, because... We're full of wickedness. Hey, you know what? Because what the Lord is doing right now, he's doing what you call a sifting, a sifting uh, 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 on the nation of Israel. Because the scriptures say that all Israel is not Israel. So what the Heavenly Father is doing, he's sifting... He's sifting out the real Israelites from the uh, from the Israelites that want to be uh, uh, heathens. You want to be like the other nations, you know. So he gonna leave you there. He gonna leave you there with the other nations, man. You know, and, and you gonna get destroyed with them, man. You gonna get destroyed and, and you gonna die in your sin, man, because you refused the, the hand of the heavenly Father when He called out to you, man. Go ahead. It reads, Jeremiah 15 and 2. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, if they say to thee, Brethren, shall we go forth? Brethren, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them. Right, because now they were seeking out the prophets, and they're going to try to come to the prophets for what advice? What should we do now? Where should we go? Come. Where are we going to, what are we going to, you know? Hey, but this was the time you're supposed to have been doing it. Because uh, the scriptures also says that the most time is going to cleave our tongues until, right. uh, to the roof of our mouth. I mean, right. I mean, because, hey, the, the days of trying, being tried in the fire are going to be done, man. Because you got to be tried, you know what I'm saying, to get in, man. Go ahead, Slocky. Uh, Jeremiah 15 and 2, and it shall come to pass, if they say to thee, Brother, shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus say ye out, such, are, such as are for death to death, and such as are for sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Right. And I will appoint over them four kinds, say ye out, the sword to slay, the dogs to tell, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And destroy. That's right. Hey, go ahead, brother. I was just gonna say, whatever, whatever, whatever destiny the Lord wanted how to destroy you, that's how you're gonna get destroyed, man. It says the sword to devour, man. Hey, that's the nuclear ICBM missiles, man. That's the modern day sword. You know? Or the Lord might want you had mauled by dogs, or mauled by a bear. Mm. Alright, or, or crows to feed on your dying body. That's right. Your legs can be broken, you can immobilize, man. And crows to feed on your dead flesh. And you can't do shit about it. You right. never know, man. You might get shot in the spine, mm. paralyzed. Hey. Have crows eating at your back, man, the bullet wound. Hey. You can't do shit about it. 
Hey man, whatever it's a sword, it's a sword, whatever the lot, whatever lot the Lord wants you to suffer by, hey, some people are gonna die by angels, man. You know? By, by death angels, man. It says, uh, uh the apocrypha says, uh, they appease the wrath of him that, uh, that made them. You know? Whatever yeah. lot you got to be killed, man, that's what you got. What's the scripture, bro? It says, so they shall run from the, uh, the uh, from the but this is uh, 2 Thessalonians 5 at the top, 5 and 1. But of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Right. Because men of the Lord are on their watch. Right. You know, that's just it. Go ahead. It says, verse 3. For when they shall, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travaileth upon a woman with a child, they shall not escape. Right, that goes back into that, uh, those victuals shall be found so good and cheap on earth, you know, that, that they'll find themselves in a, in a good case. So they just gonna be, you know, uh, uh, at ease. Yep. You know what I'm saying? What the scriptures say, woe unto them that are at ease, man. You know, so destruction is gonna come unto you because you're not on your watch. You're not, you're not paying attention to the signs of the times, man. You're not taking heed to the words of the Heavenly Father that's being preached out in the highways and the byways, man. Because if you're doing that, what the brother just said, man, if you if you if you being on your watch, man, you're not gonna be at ease. That's right. You're gonna constantly be in straits, man, because that's, the Lord is dealing with you. That's right. You know? That's right. Yeah. Precept for that. And go back to Hebrews, man. Yep. He chastened those whom he loves. Sure. Yes, I am. Multiple it says. Uh, verse three again. For when they say, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, they shall, they shall not escape. I want to get a precept real quick. It's Jeremiah eleven and eleven. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will send evil upon them, which they shall not escape, not be able to escape, and though they shall cry unto me. I will not hearken unto them. Right. Because you serve the mother gods, man. That's right. The Lord, like, hey, man, all the mother gods you serve, hey, man, go cry unto them when you're fearful of them. Hey, get it. Uh, it's a lot of them, man. I know. Uh, this one in Isaiah 1. Or Isaiah 10. I'm going to get the one in Isaiah 10 because I like that one too. You mean, uh, is it Judges 10? No, not Judges. This is like Isaiah. Let me get, let me get that one, bro. Uh, must be Jeremiah. No, that's Jeremiah. Jeremiah 10. It's a lot. It says, I will, I will, your prince, your priest shall be ashamed. You got the judges? No, I don't have that one yet. Uh, let me get this Jeremiah. I got something for you. Go ahead. Uh, was, uh, never mind. Oh, it's two. It's one. Here it is. It says, Jeremiah 2.26, As a thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They kings, they, they, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets, saying to a stock, a stock is a false idol. It's, it's, not, it's, it's a, something else that you're worshiping other than Yahweh Hashem Yahweh It says, saying to a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone, Thou have turned their sand to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble they shall say, Arise and save us. But there, but where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise, if they can save thee in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. So it's being rhetorical, man. It's a rhetorical question. Where are the gods that you serve? Lord, no, they ain't real, man. He created everything. Where are the gods that you serve in the time of your pleasure? Go and call unto them in the time of your affliction, man. Let them deliver you out of your tribulation. And he said in Jeremiah, I shall send evils upon them that they shall not be able to escape. You know? So the Lord is being sarcastic, man. He's the ultimate Jake. He's sarcastic. Oh, no, you don't want me now. Go go cry unto the other gods you serve. Yeah. You know? Well, it even, uh, it even goes for the items that you make of men, man. Yeah. You know? 
uh, we uh, go to niggas loving Martin Luther King. Yep. Or, or uh, what was the old man that you said you met? That looked like a uh, uh, dude off of uh, uh, South Carolina. Dick Gregory. Yeah, yeah, yeah Dick Gregory. Uh, niggas love Dick Gregory. But uh, this is uh, Isaiah 29. I'm going to start at 14. And it reads. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among these people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. See? Hey, all these, all these uh, so-called gurus and, sh and things that you people uh, go to seek counsel and guidance from, man, that's not up to count. Hey, my family keep reading. Isaiah 29 to 15. I just want to bring something out. J. Cole, man, one of, his, one of J. J. Cole is an artist, all right, a uh, uh, rap artist. And he said, uh, he said, turn the TV on, not one hero in sight, unless he dribble, he fiddle with mics. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like that for a reason, man. You know, you uh, so-called African-Americans don't have any, any heroes or, uh, or, or uh, what's the word, role models, all right? And that's what the name of the song was, role models. That's mm -hmm. funny. Hey, uh, they don't have any role models unless they be of prominence. Uh, they're not a prominent man unless they dribble a ball or throw a ball playing sports or they rap it. All right, and that's that's that's, that's the cold. That's the that's the uh, cut cut and dry truth. Biggie Small said that you uh, got a uh, slang crack rock and got a uh, wicked jump shot. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. God. <laughs> yep. That's 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 what niggas look up to. But it says uh, Isaiah 29 to 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh. And their works are in the dirt, and they say, "Who seeth us, and who knoweth us?" Hey, that's the, that's the spirit because when that was written, it was talking about niggas, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what that you know that niggas are the same as Esau, because yeah. Esau got their talents and they, they uh, the things that they do, their witchcraft. They got exactly. that shit from, from Jake, man. <laughs> Jake, uh, Jeremiah was Isaiah. Isaiah was yeah. Isaiah was talking about Jake, man. Hiding they, hiding they works from the Lord, man. But hey, man, they go to Esau too because they just like their father, the devil, man. They all worship wickedness. Huh. That's what I love about that scripture because okay. it was we we we, we applied it to Esau. Yep. But then it was written. Yep. It was talking about Jake. Let's go back to what we were talking about. This is uh, in Judges. This is Judges 10, 13. He says, "Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods." Wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the same socket in deliver you in the time of your tribulation. God, the Lord, the Lord is telling you, hey man, my people are gonna seek me early, man. When in the time of that tribulation, hey, when that death is before their eyes, oh yeah, they're gonna call upon the Lord. But what you what you gonna do in your liberty? When you able to call upon the Lord, what you gonna do? You gonna do what we do, you gonna do according to your pleasure. Yeah. Alright, but when you finna die, when you bleeding out and you get your body getting cold, man, you're gonna call upon the Lord. Right. We're gonna be like, fuck you, basically. Right, right. And, and, and just so you know, gods is other gods is not just talking about a dumb statue. Okay? It could be anything, man. Hey, uh, it can it could be smoking cigarettes or smoking weed. Yeah, because niggas turn a ganja or, into a god. Or, or, or black and miles. All of those are idols. Exactly. Those are That's idolatry, you know? All of that that's pleasing to your flesh. I got it. And, and you abuse it. That's your god, okay? Even a woman. A woman can be your god, okay? Actually, anything. Anything. That's right. A shoe. This is uh, Exodus 20 and 1. I'm going to stop at 5. It says, and God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Right, God, that's in the law. It said, thou shalt make any likeness. So you shouldn't put anything in, in uh in the same steed as you put the Lord. Hey, Lord says what? What is the what is the uh, what is the first greatest commandment? The one is like unto it. Love the Lord thy God with all your mind, all your soul, all your might. All right. And uh, what's, what's the second one? He said, Love thy neighbor as thyself. You know, those are the, those are the two greatest commandments, man. So you shouldn't put anything before those. But people they worship their cars, a tree. 
you know, another woman, another person. Anything can be your God, man. If you if you liking it above your how about shimmy on shot, that's your God. Louis, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, whatever you do. Alright? It says, uh, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I am the Lord thine God, and a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, upon the third and the fourth generation that hate me. And that's just that's just talking about recompense, man. When you when you go, you're gonna commit your wickedness in, the, in this life, but in your next life you're gonna begin to pay for it. But they don't think about that. I'm so fucked up, Lord. Hey man, don't ask why. Who are you to reply against the man who created you? Well, I got this right here. <clears throat> Isaiah 29 and 16, you just broke right into it. It said, uh, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Is, is it not yet a very little well and the bandage shall be turned into a fruit? Well, anyways, point being is who is you to say? Uh, 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 what your purpose is, man? Why, or why the most time make your purpose the way you want to make it? Man? Hell yeah, man. It says, uh, what? The same chapter, 47. Of warns a man that's striving with his maker, man. Yeah. Warns a man that's striving with his maker. It says, surely the, 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 the how is the, is the father, and we are in the clay. You know? It goes back to Romans. By the uh, ninth chapter? Yeah, Romans 9 and uh, 20. He set up Pharaoh to prove, to, to, to show his power. 21. Uh, this is Romans 9 and 21. Stop 20. Stop 20. Yeah, come on. Yeah. No, this is Romans 9 and 20. He says, Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doeth ye yet find fault? For who had, had resisted his will? Nay, but I, nay. But, O oh man, who art thou that repliest against the Most High? Who are you? Who is man to reply against the Most High? Say, re, uh, finish it out. Come He says, shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, what has thou made me thus? Because I felt like it, nigga. That's what the Lord said, man. Because yep. I felt like it. I, I, wanted to, I wanted you this way because I felt like it. I wanted you to, I wanted you to play this one. It says, shall the thing formed Say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? Hey man, you're not supposed to ask the Lord why you make me like this, because he felt like it, man. He wanted you to play this role, that's what you're gonna do, whether you like it or not. That's right. You know? Like he, Batman and Robin. Why I gotta be Robin? I wanna be the man, because I felt like it. I want you to be Robin. And, and, and you know what? It, it don't matter how the way you feel, because it's gonna play out the way the Heavenly Father wanted to play out anyway. Yep. You know, you can complain about it all day. It don't matter. You even even you complaining what's written in there that you was gonna complain. Even you thinking it like, yeah, that, that, this shit ain't right, you know? Hell yeah, man. Well, all of that's the Heavenly Father, he wrote it in there for you to be like that, man. That's it don't why even it's so matter. Deep. That's how it's gonna be. That's why it's so deep, because it's like, yeah, I, I did that, and the Lord had wrote it in there for you to think that you did. Yep, that's it's crazy, man. Yeah. He said he was offended is not worthy of me. That's right, man. Oh, that's a good word to go into that word worthy in that scripture. You know, uh, he is offended is not worthy because basically the truth, the truth is gonna what's gonna heal you and set you free. You know what I'm saying? So basically the Lord is like saying to you, hey, you ain't worthy, you know what I'm saying, to be healed, man. You ain't worthy to be uh set free. Hey man, he gonna just let let you stay sick. You know what I'm saying? Because 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 you offended. Yep, and you a fool because it says what? It says, yep. uh, as a thorn, as a, as a stone is binded in a sling, yep. so is the words of wisdom in a fool. That's right. Meaning what? You're going to let that shit go. When you put a stone in a sling, you're going to let it go. Quick. Fast. You know? That's right. It says, as a thorn goes into the hand of a drunkard, so is the parable in the mouth of a fool. That's right. I mean, when a drunkard lean on a thorn, he's going to let it go real quick. That's what a, that's what a fool going to do with the parables of the Lord. He gonna like, oh, okay, and walk off, and forget about it. Yeah, exactly, yep. man. That's why you're not worthy. 
That's right. Oh, exactly. This is verse 23. I'm sorry, verse 22. He says, 